Hi, I want to do a, a video today. I'm going to try, I'm going to talk quick. I got a lot of information. I'm going to try to do it in around two minutes, so I'm going to be fairly quick through here. So I wanted to do a quick video, uh, retinal tear laser complications, and I want to have this on the World Wide Web so that people can watch it, so they can have the ability to find something where I could never find anything. So basically, if you're in a in a doctor's office right now and you're just about to do a retinal tear laser procedure I want you to pause I want you to stop I want you not to do it I'm asking you just to take a quick pause I'm not saying don't do it at all but I'm saying take a quick pause go outside tell the people you want to take a smoke take a breather make a phone call whatever take a pause listen to my video and if you want to go back inside after please do now my history quickly was I had my both of my eyes retinal tears of both my eyes I had them both lasered three years ago my right eye I had it lasered I had absolutely no problems with it in March of 2019, this year, I had my left eye uh, lasered for retinal tear and I've had major complications. And the problem is no one can fix these complications. And the complications that I'm finding are this, is that I'm getting, per I have permanent flashers. Six months after the procedure, I have permanent flashers. Whether they go away or not is really anybody's guess. And what are flashers? Flashers are basically imagining both of your eyes are computer screens and whatever eye you had the retinal laser done on, you start seeing pixelization under certain or certain conditions, typically from almost always from bright sunlight into darker rooms or under fluorescent lights. And they are debilitating. Um, I am telling you, they are extremely debilitating. They will cause you extreme stress and anxiety, and it will impact all aspects of your life. And that's why I want you to watch this video because you need to know what the risks are prior to getting this procedure done. So that's all I'm asking you to do is understanding your risks before you do the procedure because likely you're not getting this explained to you. So if you, in, or, in order for you to get a bit more information, I, I haven't been able to attach the link yet, um, but if you Google patient.info, P-A-T-I-E-N-T dot info, and underneath there you search for white flickering light after laser for retinal tear. You will see a thread in there, you may have to set up an account, of all people that have had the exact same problem I'm having. The problem that is never gonna be disclosed to you prior to this procedure. Um, again, what, what I wanna reiterate is this procedure, you cannot undo it. So if you do the procedure tomorrow, that's fine. You can do it tomorrow. But if you do it today, you can never undo it. And if you're having problems, you may, may live, need to live with this for the rest of your life, like I may have to. It may go away and it may not, but nobody really knows. Um, so what I ask you to do is do some of your own research. Um, again, go to that patient.info and, and do a search for white flickering light after laser for retina. And the other thing I want you to do is if you do decide to go ahead with the retinal tear procedure, what I'd recommend you do and which, what I wish I would have done was asked for the retinal specialist to take a picture of my retina because I took one anyways a week later after I'm having all these problems. So why not take them now, even if they charge you $100 to do it, take the pictures of the retina. Get the retinal specialist to show you the tear so that you can actually see the tear. If there's one or two or more tears that are being proposed to being lasered, have, the, have that documented and then you all both have an understanding of exactly what is gonna be done. No different than if you're gonna fix a car or if you had a broken bone, take a, look at the x-rays, look at the broken tear and then agree to having, having it done. Because you'll read on this website, a lot of people that are getting the retinal specialist starts lasering other areas, not just where the tear is, even areas where he considers it thinning or whatever. In some cases, um, retinal specialists are shooting a laser all the way around the retina to kind of glue the retina in place. Um, but there's significant problems that people are having with these kind of things. So please just take your time before you go ahead and do this retinal tear. It's your body, it's your health. You have the right to take a pause and you can always do this procedure later, today or tomorrow or next week. That's all I wanted to say quickly. It's four minutes and twice my, the length that I want it to be, but I hope you found it useful and informative and all the best of luck. Thank you, bye.